The Tejas is an Indian single-engine, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. It came from the Light Combat Aircraft Program, which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging MiG-21 fighters. In 2003, the LCA was officially named Tejas. The Dassault Rafale is a French twin-engine, canard delta wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike, and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale is referred to as an omni-role aircraft by Dassault. The Tejas is a single-engine multi-role fighter which features a tailless, compound delta wing design which confers better close combat, high speed, and high alpha performance characteristics than comparable cruciform wing designs. Tejas is designed with relaxed static stability for enhanced maneuverability and agility. Originally intended to serve as an air superiority aircraft with a secondary ground attack role, its flexibility permits a variety of guided air-to-surface and anti-shipping weapons to be integrated for multi-role and multi-mission capabilities. Introduced in 2001, the Rafale is being produced for both the French Air Force and for carrier-based operations in the French Navy. Rafale is a fourth-generation jet with both twin-generation engines and delta wing. This fighter jet also carries semi-stealth capabilities that can execute nuclear attacks. The biggest feature of Rafale is beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile. The range of this is more than 150 kilometers. So, from within the border Rafale can launch a missile attack 150 kilometers inside the enemy territory border. How powerful any fighter aircraft is, it depends on the technology and sensor capability and weapons of that aircraft. This means that how far this fighter aircraft can see and how far it can destroy its target. In this case, Rafale is a very modern and powerful aircraft. Just like Rafale's combat radius is 3,700 kilometers. Combat radius means the distance a fighter plane can go from its base at once. Rafale is now building up potential for a hard turn.
Finally, who will be declared the winner? Tejas can only carry 9 armaments, missiles and bombs, but the Rafale C can carry 14, and the Rafale B and M can carry 13. And again Rafale is being upgraded with MBDA missiles. To take flight, the Tejas needs a 1.7 km runway, but the Rafale only needs a 400 m runway. And, because the Tejas lacks an infrared search and tracking system, it relies solely on an active sensor, radar, the pilot has poor view, particularly rearward view, from the cockpit. Despite its modest size and thermal signature, the Tejas is easier to identify with a radar warning receiver and more easier to shoot down by surprise than the Rafale. Thanks for watching, share your thoughts about Rafale and Tejas fighter jet, tells us what's your favorite aircraft in comments below. If you like this video please share it, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you liked our video please subscribe to our channel.